hello YouTube. Round 2 starts next week, but this week I wanted to recap round 1 so it's all in one place. It was a really good round with some great games. Let us know which game was your favorite. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with what happens in round 2. For those who are new, imagine March Madness, but with football. Here's the bracket. Pause the video if you need to. Before we get started, I must apologize for the sound quality. I didn't realize I was recording with my webcam instead of my mic. I'll have it fixed for tomorrow's video, but without further ado, here are the highlights for the first half of round one. Enjoy! So, Panthers and Saints to start off Madden Madness. So, it took until the start of the second for the first score of Madden Madness, a field goal by Lutz to make it 3-0 Saints. And Panthers respond near the end of the half with their own field goal. Five minutes later. <coughs> but Saints make a field goal to retake the lead right before the half. Saints are leading 6-3. And Panthers retire the game at 6 apiece with another field goal. No touchdowns yet though. Near the end of this one. But Panthers finally do get one just under 75 seconds to play. Three pancakes bring Jonathan Stewart for the end zone. Saints get a chance to respond because of this deep pass. Just under 30 seconds to play. And they get the spike off. And 15 seconds left. Breeze can't get the throw off. He's knocked down for a sack. And they rush back to the line to try and spike it. Under five seconds. Three, two, one. And they lose. So Panthers move on. Next up, Cardinals and Niners. First score comes near the end of the first with Jimmy G hitting good win for the TD. And third and 19, Garoppolo hits Goodwin deep. And he takes it the distance. 14-0 Niners with four left in the second. Niners hit a field goal with one minute left in the third. And they're starting to feel pretty good, starting to really pull away here. But with just over four minutes to play, Cardinals get a touchdown with AP, making a 10-point game. Then they get a late field goal to make it a one-score game, but they still need the onside kick with less than 30 seconds to play. They don't get it, and Niners steal it with this play scramble from Garoppolo. The Niners win, 17-10, and move on. So, game three, Chargers and Chiefs. First score is a touchdown thrown by Smith to Kelsey, who's able to dive in for it, um, just with about 30 seconds left in the half. And Chiefs will take this lead into the half, up 7-0. And Chiefs are able to double up with this spin move right there with Green Hunt who's able to take it a distance. So, just like that, keeps her up 14 years up. Then, on the next kickoff, the next one, Benjamin fumbles, and Chiefs get an easy scoop and score. So Chiefs complete the shutout of this disappointing matchup. And they get to move on after winning this game 21-0. Game 4, Rams and Seahawks. So first play from scrimmage, Goff hits Watkins on the slant, and just like that it's 7-0 Rams. But with just under three left in the first half, Seahawks are able to get on the board with this kick from Blair Walsh. 
73 grams. Then after that, Hawks take the lead right before the half with this pass to Luke Wilson. Hawks march down the field on the next series and run it in with this touchdown with Davis. So it's 17-7 Hawks. Hawks score 24 unanswered with this run up to go with Carson. And after the quick TD, the Rams are shut out. Hawks move on 24-7. Game 5, Raiders and Broncos. So first score comes near the start of the second. And it's a touchdown. Card of Cooper. Then right at the two minute warning, Raiders hit the long field goal to score 10 unanswered. However, Broncos are able to get a field goal of their own to make it 10 to three Raiders at the half. And no scoring in the second half, but the Raiders could have if they wanted here. Raiders take the knee and move on, winning 10 to three. Game 6, Patriots and Bills. New England opens up the scoring with this field goal about halfway through the first. However, Bills drive down and get their own field goal just as fast. And right before the half, they take the lead with this touchdown. Taylor to Jones, but they're not celebrating. They know how this goes. But they're able to pull the Patriots and double up with this long scramble by Taylor. Slippery, slippery. Buffalo is going to lead 17 to 3. So after that TD, Brady's got to go into comeback mode, hyping his guys up once again. It works. Pats drive down and get this long TD to Cooks, so it's a one score game. But the Bills are able to make it two possessions again with this field goal. 20 to 10 Bills with under three to play. That field goal comes in handy as Pats are able to drive down with this deep pass late in this one. Under a minute to go, Brady gets a TD to number 18, throwing on the run. They need an onside recovery still, and we'll see if they can get it. Bills recover it. And so they're able to kneel out the clock. Bills knock out New England, winning 20-17. to So game seven, Dolphins and Jets. First score comes as Dolphins hit this field goal late in the second. And Dolphins go into the half with a three zip lead. Next score doesn't come until just under three to play in the fourth. Field goal's good, Jets tie, three three. So Dolphins stall and Jets go for the win. Hitting Safari and Jenkins wide open for this DTD, making it 10 to three with less than 20 seconds left. Cutler gets a chance with the Hail Mary, and it doesn't even get close. Jets win 10-3. Last but not least, well at least for this video, Eagles and Cowboys. First score comes with the first play of the second quarter with this 24-yard TD by Ezekiel Elliott. 7-0 Cowboys. Philly responds with a field goal, making it 7-3, with less than two minutes left in the second. But Cowboys lead in the half, 7-3. Eagles get the first score of the second half with this run up the middle, and take the lead, 10-7 Eagles. However, Cowboys are able to tie the game with 30 seconds left. 
Cowboys get a chance to end it, but they can't. So here comes OT. Ten apiece. Cowboys get the ball first, and they run it out. So from about the 22 in the first play of overtime, Prescott throws this beauty. And just like that, Cowboys are near field goal range. Next play, Elliott is able to move the ball into field goal range. And the play after that, Prescott's able to bring the ball a little bit closer with his legs. Elliott gets a decent run up here, you know, about seven or so. And another third and inches. And Philly can't stop them. Cowboys can just smell this W. And they get it. Throw over the middle. So that's the end of the game. Cowboys win. 10 to 16. Final. Super Bowl, Super Bowl champs are out. Alright, there you have it. Those are the highlights for the first half of round one. Tune in tomorrow as we get caught up with the second half of round one. Subscribe for more and like the video if you enjoyed. Leave us a comment which was your favorite game. Thanks for watching and this is Phantom saying have a good one.